Right, here we have uh, the Quill Feebin kit. Um, it's seen on a lot of shoots now, all around the country. Really, really good bit of kit. Um, <clears throat> what we've always said before is put it on a bit of a tyre like it is here. Um, but we know we've got issues with that. Uh, and we feel that there's a big problem with the rodenticides at the moment uh, and a, an is issue there. Um, and we know that bringing rodenticides outside is not easy, don't always work because the vitamin K in the food is the antidote to the rodenticide. So we've come up with a new idea. We've come up with a quill feeder stand, which is here. Um, and, and you'll see what this is all about. This little stand is being developed so it can be used on the quill midi feeder and, and the feed bin kit. But let's just set it up on the feed bin kit. We'll show that one first and then we'll put it, put a turn the stand the other way or whatever and show how it works on the midi feeder. So here's a here's a classic uh, feed bin kit. So we'll take it off. Um, tray a rat doesn't run out from underneath, but uh, we'll pull the tray. Pull the tray and, and uh, feed her off. This is uh, a classic feeping kit tray um, that, that we've sold for years with all the feeping kits. And what we've done now is slight, made a slight trough just here. This will accept our new feeder stands that I'll show you. Um, it just helps locate them and stop it from sliding around. The feeder stands can still be used with the old tray, um, but obviously that makes it a little bit better. So throw it out to one side, get rid of the old tire. Often when we pick a tire up, we see these holes going in under, rats in here, all this nonsense. We're gonna put an end to that. In come the feeder stand. So we put it like that. We then have the quill vermin trap box. Puts it in the middle. There we are. Look. You've got a lovely round there. And any any vermin, squirrels and that, it's going to run round there and obviously straight in the hole. So now we put the tray on top of that. And we locate it. And it's located nicely. Because of the the, 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 in the bottom of the thing, locates on the edge of the tray like that. If we were using the quill midi feeder that uh, a lot of you guys have got, very simple, very clever. Here's a quill midi feeder tray, as you will know. And what we do is we simply turn the boxes upside down. And the reason for that is We've got a slight camber, a slight angle on the edge of the feeder stand and this allows for packaging and uh, it, 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 it uh, makes a lot of sense. So here we go, we put the tray in the centre. Again, we've got a ridge here so it locates the quill midi feeder. Nice, nice, nice and solid there. We're able to get the box in and out underneath. So whenever you've got plastic about Squirrels just love it, and, and, and we all know that they'll nibble the edge of the trays when it runs out. But now we've got a trap box that's running all the time with a with a Fen Mark IV trap inside. It is it's game over for those squirrels. Right, so let's go back and put the feed bin kit going, and uh, so we turn them back the other way again, like this. Put the tray on top. Here we are, nice and safe. So all I've got to do is lift the bin on, on the top, again the bin locates into that, that gauge around the, uh, the sort of groove around the thing, lovely job, put a bit of food round, put the hat back on, Happy days. Now we can see we've got a nice little setup there. The birds can go in underneath, feed from the tray nicely, uh, and any vermin's going to go in that box. And the amount of food that we're going to save that's wasted from rats and squirrels is going to be tremendous. So, uh, 
yeah, I think uh, keepers are going to really enjoy this one and um, it's going to save an awful lot of food and uh, the, the birds are going to be happier as well. If you've got rats running around in your pen, you encourage other vermin as well chasing the rats uh, and the whole cycle goes downhill. So I think this is a real bit of kit and uh, it really joins it all up together. Thank you very much for watching.